should you go to graduate school immediately after getting your college degree? This is a question that I'm often asked, and in this video, we are going to address it. This video is 100% inspired by an email I received from a viewer here on the channel. So I'm going to start this video by reading the very short email and then doing my best to answer it. If you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, it does help other people who read the comments. All right, I will leave the person's name out of it. I'll just call them student. And the subject is grad school. Hi, Math Sorcerer. My name is Student, and I'm a sophomore studying mathematics at Random University at the moment. I've been greatly enjoying my studies, and I'm currently in Calc 3 and Theory of Probability and Statistics. My question for you is, would it be beneficial for me to immediately go to grad school, as I've been told by a few professors that I would make an excellent grad student in mathematics? Or do I go out into the working world first and maybe go back later for my master's or PhD? Please let me know your thoughts on this. I'd greatly appreciate it. Yeah, sure. So first, let me say thank you for your email. I really do appreciate it. And I do have some advice on this particular subject. So I made a list of pros and cons <laughs> that I think can help you greatly. So the first thing is if you wait, if, if you don't go, okay, if you get a job first or do something else and then go to grad school later, what's going to happen? you're going to know less mathematics because you will forget, right? Math is very unforgiving, so if you don't do math for a while, you will forget. It'll be easy to refresh it, no problem, but you will forget. You will lose some momentum, right? You're already in college, you're already doing math. By the time you get to your senior year, you'll know topology, you'll know advanced calculus, you'll know complex variables. You'll know a lot of very hard advanced, more, harder mathematics. And that's going to be fresh in your mind. You're going to have that momentum to keep going. If you stop doing math, you'll, you'll kind of lose that momentum. Also, if you go later, you'll have more real-world experience. So that might create more motivation. Maybe you'll go out and you'll get a couple jobs and you'll realize that, hey, this sucks. I don't want to do this. I want to go back and do math. And so you'll be more motivated. So that, that could be a positive of waiting. My honest advice is to go now. That's that's my advice for a couple reasons, right? One, as I mentioned already, it's fresh in your mind. You'll know the material. Two, you've got that momentum going. And three, it's always harder to go back later. Like if, if you don't go to grad school immediately after getting your bachelor's, right? Then you're probably going to get a job. And then when are you going to quit that job to go to grad school, right? You, Think about that, right? If you get a job and you're making, I don't know, a certain amount of money, say $70,000 a year, right? Are you going to give up $70,000 a year in a job that maybe you like to go back and study math and make what a graduate student makes, right? And work 10 times harder? Because let me tell you, graduate school in mathematics is way harder than working. <laughs> so I remember when I, uh, when I, the first class I taught, I remember teaching a class outside of graduate school for the first time. I felt like I was on vacation. I was like, oh, this is so easy. All I have to do is teach? <laughs> so easy. So it's much, much harder, okay? It's much, much harder. Much harder. So my advice is stick with it, go for it, and pursue it all the way. That's what I think. Does anyone else have advice for this person? Do you disagree? Do you think it's better to take some time off? If you do, leave a comment in the comment section below. Oh, before I finish this video, as a concrete example, I have a, a friend who you know, I talk to sometimes, and he got his degree in engineering, went to work for multiple companies, and then just got into grad school uh, this last fall. It's a really good school for his PhD in engineering. So he, he actually went back. He gave up a very high paying job to go back to graduate school. I mean, very, he was making a lot. And he just, like, enough is enough. I want to do something big. I want to, he wants to change the world. He's, he's got some good ideas. He's a smart guy. So, yeah, some people, some people do go back. But it's harder. It's harder. Anyways, leave any comments in the comment section below. 
Oh, and before I forget, if you want to learn math, check out my courses. The links are in the description. As always, keep doing mathematics.